to this country by the mismanagement of greedy politicians and most of those resources went to tax dollars to pay for that mismanagement. You know, I became an activist living out in Euclid as I watched a deforestation out there and the logging of the last old growth rainforest, Clackwood Sound, because of hemp. And I've been a cannabis activist for 20 years because I know with this plant, I know with this plant we can replace uh, one acre of hemp will replace four acres of trees. We can make all our paper out of hemp instead of cutting down 50% of our trees. I know we can feed the world's hungry with this plant. I know we can make all our cloth with this plant and bring it into this country. And this is addresses many of the problems facing the 99%. We know what legalization of cannabis, uh, hemp, and marijuana, medical marijuana can do for this country. Instead, this government, this government, the Harper government, they've decided to turn their machinations on the people, man, with their ominous crime bill, you know. The Harper government tries to play that. Uh, we don't have the same problem here in Canada with the banks and corporations, stuff like that. Well, maybe that's true. Maybe the problem here in Canada is with a fucking Harper government. Maybe it's the $16 billion in fighter jets they want to spend on bombing other countries in our name, in our good name. A country that once represented peace around the world. I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore and that's what this event is about. Maybe they could, uh, as we strip our country of our resources, what they do is they've got a $3 billion economic plan. That economic plan is harvesting the youth of this country for using a simple plant. They're planning on putting anybody that grows more than five five plants in jail for met, met, uh, mandatory minimum prison sentences. And we see what these sentences have done in the United States. The same drug war, the same mandatory minimum, minimum sentences. With 5% of the world's population, the United States has 25% of the world's prisoners. 25% of the world's prisoners. They lead the world in the prison population. You know, I think that people point to this organic movement that's growing up here in North America and they say there's no uh, real focus of it. Well, I've got a demand, a clear demand for you. Why don't we take that $3 billion that they have slated for their ominous crime bill to put thousands of Canadians in new jails, private jails, uh, conservative crony jails, and we direct that to housing, education, drug treatment. You know, I have one thing left to say. Something from a recently departed Canadian. Words I'm sure you'll all recognize. And at the birth of this movement, I think they are important words to remember. My friends, love is better than anger. Hope is better than fear. Optimism is better than despair. So let us be loving, hopeful, and optimistic. And we'll change the world! Canada, we got your back!